So after the first wave of building at Rice, the next thing on the list was a really big thing. And that was to provide the state-of-the-art facility for the natural scientists, the, the chemists in particular. And so by the early 1920s, Rice began planning its first real chemistry building. By 1923, we begin work on building what was really a very large building at the time. When the building was complete, it, it turned out to be really a, a, just a lovely building. It's hard to see it today because there are so many things, so many buildings on campus now, you can't really get far enough away from it to be able to appreciate how graceful such a large building really really is. One of my favorite things in the building is uh, something that puzzled me as, as well for quite a while. Um, they actually built a men's smoking lounge. This was kind of funny to me because back in this day everybody smoked and they smoked everywhere. There are, there are pictures of people smoking all over campus. So why would they build a special smoking lounge in this building? And the answer of course is that um, you can't smoke <laughs> in chemistry labs. You know, building that smoking lounge space underneath the front steps, uh, as we all know, has turned out to be an act of absolute genius. Because that is the space that has been transformed in recent decades into Valhalla. 